It's Dave's way. It's Dave's way. That sounds like Barkley. <laughs> All right, today on Dag Swag, I'm going to talk about something that means a lot to me. When my grandfather passed away, my grandmother left me his old pipes. The pipes and harmonica were my grandfather's thing. He fought in World War II. He was one of the scouts that went ahead of the troops to, well, obviously scouts, right in the name, scout for the enemy to see where they were and to alert the troops of any enemy that was going to be around their area, I guess. I, I don't know all the ins and outs of how it works, but I know the basics uh, from my grandfather's and grandmother's stories from when I was younger. And my grandfather, I'm talking about my grandfather Parker, on my dad's side, he passed away in the 90s, but my grandmother left me his pipes. And all my memories of him from a little kid, there was great memories and there was sad memories. Now the great memories was all the fun things he did with me, but the swing off a tree in his backyard, you know, the typical grandfather thing to do with their grandkids. And they had a little bit of property out near the Havelock area, which is a little west of Peterborough. I forget whether it's a little north or south, but they were in that Havelock area. And that, I forget the exact name of the little town that they lived in. I, I should remember it. But they had a nice little bit of property and I'd always be all back and they had a little guest house and stuff. And now that I think about it, it was a pretty fair sized chunk of land that they had out there. And so I'd be over there all the time. Well, me and my brother and sister would go over there to spend the night or weekend or whatever, sometimes with my parents, sometimes without. And every night around nine o'clock, my grandfather, nine, 10 o'clock, I forget, I could be off a little. Uh, my dad would be able to remind me for sure if I get this wrong, but he would be sitting out there at the kitchen table, he'd get some hot cocoa, a couple cookies, and he'd sit there and he'd flip through his photo albums of all his old war buddies, and he'd sit there talking to him to himself about how much he missed them, or how this one died, or how this one was killed, or all, all different sorts of stories from the war, and, and I, it was kind of sad in a way, but I kind of loved it, because it showed how passionate he was, how he never forgot anybody, and how memories are what live on and, and it might be an old Beanie Man song memories don't live like people do but they always remember you and, and it's so true because the memories good or bad are what keep us going and what keep us alive and so every time I sit in this room and I see those pipes sitting down beside me which always has a poppy either inside or outside not one for wearing a poppy on my clothes but because of my grandfather and because of my respect for a lot of the military and what they have to do and, and the way they fight for our freedoms no matter what country you're from I always have a poppy with my grandfather's pipes or in my vehicle at all times year round there is not just one day for remembering in my mind it's every day of the year should be remembered and should be thought of and respected especially those who fought so hard for us in the war so my grandfather I think of him all the time and it's a constant happy reminder of all the good times I had with him whenever I see those pipes down there. Peace. It's Dag's way, it's Dag's way.